All right, so this is Mr. Stubblefield. I'm back again, and this is uh, how to do conversions in the metric system using a mnemonic device and kind of a drawing. So the way that this goes is you can remember that there was this dude. This dude was a king. His name was King Hector, and he doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. If you can remember that King Hector doesn't usually drink chocolate milk, then you can set up the following. So um, start here with King and then Hector and then doesn't and then usually and then drink and then chocolate and then milk and hopefully you can see all of that. All right, so then I know my handwriting is kind of horrible and it's a little small, so maybe I'll have to reshoot this video, but we're gonna go for it for now anyway. So every first letter in this stands for something. So what I like to do is sort of draw a staircase. Like this. And that way you can write in what these um, what these values are and what they mean and what they refer to. So in this case, king stands for the prefix kilo, like a kilometer, a thousand meters. Um, hector stands for the prefix hecto, which is not a thousand, but a hundred. The next prefix is deca, B-E-C-A. That stands for 10. The usually, in this case, stands for the unit or the base unit. Sometimes you'll see this diagram and it'll say King Hector, um, something that starts with a B for instead of usually for the base unit. But the unit is the, the single thing. And so like the base unit for length, oops, spell that correctly. The base unit for length is the meter. The base unit for volume, like how much space something takes up, is the liter. And then the base unit for mass, and some would say weight, but there's of course a difference between weight and mass. The base unit for mass is the gram in this case. So each one of these um, units, when it's right here, when you're right here, that's one. So if we put one meter right here, or it could be one liter or one gram, one goes right here on this little staircase, okay? So then the usually stands for the unit, drink stands for, the D in drink stands for the prefix deci, D-E-C-E, not to be confused with the ECA, DECA. And then chocolate stands for centi, like centimeter. And then finally, milk stands for the prefix milli, M I L L I. And then so values. If this value, if this is one, then going this way, this is one tenth of that. Centi is one one hundredth of that. And milli is one. One thousandth of that. Going the opposite way, deca is 10. So a decameter is 10 meters. A hectometer is 100 meters. And a kilometer is 1,000 meters. If you wanted to take this out even further, you could add he doesn't usually drink milk Monday night. And if you did that, you could add in micro, which is one one millionth, and nano, which is one one billionth, or 10 to the minus 9. But you don't necessarily have to know those necessarily. So, all right. So then how does this work? How do you do this? What do you do in order to convert units back and forth? Well, if you know what unit you have and you start with, then if you're moving down the stair step, what you're going to do as you move down is you're going to multiply whatever you have by 10. So going, I'm going to erase this big arrow and going down this way, you're going to take every single step 
is times 10, times 10, times 10, times 10, times 10. But going this way, to where the units are getting larger, you're going to be dividing by 10 each time. So not super difficult to do, but let's look at an example or two. So I live about um, probably 15 kilometers from the school. So because I live 15 kilometers from the school, that might be a unit that we want to know how many um, how many meters that is. So if we start at 15, and let's say I live 15.75, we'll throw a decimal place in there, but I live 15.75 kilometers from the school. If I want to know how many meters that is, all I have to do is figure out where kilo is, and then how do I get from kilometers to meters? Well, kilometers is on this step, so I've got to multiply this number times 10, times 10, times 10 to get to meters. So when you multiply something with a decimal times 10, all you're doing is moving the decimal place to the right. In this case, move the decimal place to the right three places. So 15.75 becomes 15.75, that's two places to the right. So now we have to add a zero, and there is our answer. So it's 15,750 meters from the school to my house. Another way to think of this is instead of times 10, when you're going down the staircase, you would move the decimal point to the right. So going down the decimal to the right and going this way you're going to move the decimal to the left so just because we have time let's practice a couple more so let's say you have um, say you have a an ibuprofen an ibuprofen is 200 milligrams so if you want to know how many grams that is, you start here at milligrams, and then you have to go to grams, which is one, two, three, because remember the gram, meters, grams, and liters are our base unit. And so to get to grams, you have to go one, two, three places, move the decimal to the left three places, so here's our decimal in 200 milligrams. Move that decimal point three places to the left, and you have 0 0.200 grams. So a milligram is a much smaller unit than a gram because it's one one thousandth of a gram. So 200 milligrams is 200 one thousandths of a gram. So try another one. Let's use one of the ones that's not often used very much, like maybe if you have um, 150 deciliters is equal to how many milliliters? So go to where you're starting with deciliters. How do you get to milliliters? You go one, two places to the right with the decimal, or you're going to, as you're going down the staircase, times 10, times 10. So 150 deciliters, that's 150.0 to move the decimal place to the right two places from deci to milli. We're gonna go one, two. So we're gonna put the decimal place there. That means we need to add a zero. So it's going to be one, five, zero 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 so there are 15,000 milliliters in 150 deciliters okay hopefully you've got that and that helps and you can watch the video you can watch it again and again and i know that you know it's it is what it is 
I probably messed up in there somewhere. You can let me know if I did and we'll talk about it and we'll see um, you in Zoom.